really hope you enjoyed the past couple of Maui episodes. Yeah, yeah buddy. We were here taking care of my mom, buddy's grandma, and my dad is back now, so he's going to he's going to take over the caretaking duties and we have to get back home. But before we go, my neighbor is called. We shared with them some fish that we caught on the boat trip and they have some organic zucchini they'd like to share with us. So we're going to go get a couple of those and maybe we'll use it for this episode. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> zucchini noodles. I've only done this once or twice and so I don't really, I'm not an expert but let's just get right to it. These are already washed. First thing we're gonna do is just cut off the ends. Want to play with that? Oh I see you have some daddy production tape on your arm. Yeah you can hold it. You have hands. You have hands. There you go. All right. <laughs> And then this is called um, it's like a julienne peeler. And we're peeling and we're making zucchini noodles. This is still going to be a lot of zucchini. I think one is going to be plenty. How do you like zucchini, buddy? Good. <laughs> Aww. What happened to your doggy, buddy? His gums are squeaking. Can you hear it? I think we solved the teething drama. Hey, Kaya girl. Want a piece of zucchini? She's not our dog, but I really, really love her. And she loves zucchini, apparently. Is that good? I'm not doing that to the, the CD center because I don't think that would make good noodles. So I'm just pulling that out. I've been feeding it to our neighbor's dog. So now we have all of these beautiful zucchini noodles and they're absolutely not perfect. Some of them are like that. We are going to, buddy, can you pass the salt please? Okay. So then the next step is we want to get the liquid out of these zucchini noodles. So we're just going to sprinkle them with salt. The salt is what takes the liquid out of things. We're gonna toss it so it's evenly coated. And we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. And while we do, we're gonna roast some macadamia nuts because we brought some of those macadamia nuts that we harvested in our last episode back from Maui. And this is just really how I cook. When I harvest something, we go on these little stints. If we have a certain fish, we're eating that fish all week. If we have certain produce, we're eating that all week. And so right now, we're sticking with the macadamia nuts. For anyone that watched that pesto fish episode, this is the macadamia nut pesto. You can check out how we made that on that video. And so while this gets the liquid out, we're gonna roast those. <clears throat> okay, so I just put some olive oil in this pan and these are just raw <clears throat> chopped macadamia nuts that I just wanna brown. That's a lot of olive oil, but I do love olive oil, so that's fine with me. Now I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna peel that yellow squash and start sauteing that in here. I'll show you what I mean. It's gonna be like a squash on squash. Peel it just because it seems a little woody. Oh yeah, these are getting way brown. I'm gonna turn my fire down. Smells good. I don't want it to burn, but it does smell really nice. So I'm just gonna very quickly chop some of this yellow squash so that we have, you know, some zucchini as noodles, but also some of this squash as chunky vegetables. Put that in there. Okay. Yeah? You wanna try this one? Try that one next. So just giving this a nice little saute. Salt. That looks beautiful, huh? Roasted macadamia nuts and sauteed Italian squash. Okay, now look at this. Come check this out, Justin. 
that was way up here and I'm like, oh, it's way too much. I shouldn't do another. But just putting the salt and having the liquid come out, look at how much it shrunk down. So like we literally could have done two. Should we do two, buddy? Mm -hmm. And look at the plate. See how much water came out? You see that? So we would have had super watery zoodles. That's zucchini noodles. Um, if we didn't salt it and let it sit for a bit. And now we're even gonna take it a step further. We're gonna give this a little squeeze. Look at that. Look at that zucchini juice. So now we have our salted, squeezed out zucchini noodles. Yeah, buddy? And we're gonna put it in the pan next, okay? I'm just gonna try and let them separate a bit. You need a doggy on your head. Do you need a zucchini in your mouth? There you go. Life is good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take our good old mac nut pesto. This is just macadamia nuts, olive oil, basil and garlic. Pesto should have Parmesan cheese, this one doesn't. So this is actually a vegan meal that we're making. Of course, you can add anchovies or Parmesan cheese or whatever you want, and that will go delightfully in it. We're just gonna saute these zucchini noodles. But we wanna keep them pretty al dente, so we don't wanna overcook them. And I'm gonna add in our beautiful mac nut pesto. I just don't wanna overcook this. That's all I have to do now to not mess this up. I'm not gonna salt the noodles because this has Hawaiian salt in it. I'm gonna trust it's salty enough. It also has garlic and basil, so that's why I didn't add garlic to the pan. This is loaded with flavor. Mmm. That's good. Okay, I actually could use a little salt. <laughs> Rather than use my typical black pepper that I do on pastas, I was just given these beautiful roasted red peppers from my friend on Maui. Be careful when you do this because a lot of times when you put chili pepper straight in a pan over a fire, that chili heat can go aromatic and make you cough and choke. It's no fun, yet I still do it like this. I'm gonna turn off this heat and we are ready to roll. So some of the noodles are getting a little brown, but I don't think they're overcooked. So I'm just gonna, a nice big serving of it. The macadamia nuts look like roasted garlic, and we do eat with our eyes, but they're gonna have a whole flavor of their own. Look what I made. There you go, that's for you. It's important for me to, to treat vegetables that somebody grew and gave to me. You know, someone took the time to nurture this plant. It's important to me that I treat them with just as much respect as I treat the fish that I catch and things that I really care about. I think the only store-bought thing in here is the olive oil, which is pretty cool. But this is the zucchini and the squash that our neighbors grew with extreme love and some yummy macadamia nut pesto sauce. Okay, Doki, the one-handed moment of truth here. That looks delicious. Oh my God, you're gonna freak out, Justin. Buddy, I wish you could try this. This is bomb. Like, the noodles are cooked perfectly. I know I use that word too much, but they're al dente. You bite into it, it has like some texture to the tooth, but then it's so nice and soft and moist inside. Um, the chunks of squash really give you something to sink your teeth into, but those macadamia nuts, that's just the texture you want. And it's just such a light, vibrant, herbal deliciousness when it comes to the flavor. This one's for you, Justin. It's gonna be messy, but I just, I need you to experience this. Wow, well, it's a big bite. I know. I've made this a couple times, but this is by far the best. Wow. Whether you eat fish or meat, or whether you just want a plant-based diet, food should be this flavorful. This is incredible. I better stop, because we have to take a picture of this. Mmm. I thought it was gonna be super good, but I didn't think it was gonna be like, knock your socks off, taste buds exploding, and the texture just like, sweeping you off your feet good. I love it when that happens. 
I thought it couldn't get any better. And then I just realized we have these beautiful limes. And I do think a nice squeeze of some fresh, this is a lemon, of some fresh <laughs> citrus. Um, it will just make it that much more vibrant and bright and wonderful. There we go. Voila! Bon appetit! Thank you for joining us. I really hope you tried this recipe. It's pretty awesome. And if you like these videos, please hit subscribe and we'll see you back next week.